Hello, this is Philip, and I'm here to show you my free King and Alpha uh, plugins for After Effects. And these are Alpha Select, EFX D Spill, and Luma Select. Let's begin with the Luma Select. It's really simple, actually. It allows you to create an Alpha channel, a selection channel, from luminosity data of an image. So, for example, this image. Uh, let's say we want to only leave the mm, dark parts of the mm, speaker. So what we have here, a minimum luma and maximum luma. Def uh, they default to 0 and 1. As you probably can guess, if we raise the minimum luma threshold, we will key out everything darker than the minimum luma. If we lower the maximum luma, we will key out everything uh, brighter than the maximum luma. Uh, additionally, if we have a minimum luma mm, at this level, we have also a minimum luma falloff, which will just soften uh, the selection. Mm, same goes for maximum luma and maximum luma falloff. What we can do is invert the selection like this, and in mode, there are a few ways of uh, how you want to output. Uh, this selection. You can use alpha as it is right now, you can use luma as it is uh, right now. You can easily see the effect of max luma falloff now. Also these full alpha and full luma they deal with the situation where uh, when you apply this effect to a layer where um, an alpha channel already existed. So basically these two modes will take into account the original uh, alpha of the image, uh, whereas these two modes uh, will assume that we don't want any of the um, partly transparent areas of the original. Now we've got um, alpha select filter. So basically alpha select allows us to select an image based on its alpha values. So let's say we have an image with an alpha channel, full uh, transparency here, full opacity here, and something in between uh, on the other areas. We apply the alpha select filter. And this is actually pretty simple. We've got the max alpha, minimum alpha, um, and we can, for example, cut out everything that is fully opaque, like this. We can also cut out something uh, from the bottom, pixels that are uh, really, really transparent, and we're left with only the areas that are almost fully opaque, but not completely. Of course, we can invert uh, the selection, and again, mm, the way of treating the original alpha. So. An example. This is the selection that we've done. We can see that we've selected alphas that are not fully opaque and not fully transparent. Uh, and you can see it uh, here that these alphas are, are selected but they're still with the original alpha data. So they're still uh, partly transparent. We can uh, change it to full alpha that actually assumes that the original had full uh, opacity uh, and you have a hard edge of everything you've selected. Uh, again, Luma just allows you to output the selection to the Luma channel and Luma uh, with a full channel mm, reduces any original partly transparent areas to uh, full mm, opacity. Last one is a D-spill filter, a simple D-spill. The advanced D-spill comes with EFX King Alpha Suite that you have to pay for, unfortunately. Uh, a simple D-spilling filter. Mm, let's just say that, yeah, the spill was blue. Let's find a shade that will uh, reduce the blue the best. Okay, then we can with these sliders pick which colors are consider considered to be spilled by the uh, blue spill. 
so let's go with the zero threshold watch the face of the man and we go down 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 oh there it is we have an edge a border of course that these we assume have no spill on them everything below this threshold has spill and has to be this despilled and of course uh, we can add a follow for this with a second slider so basically uh, if a difference between the spilled color and the pixel color is higher than the zero despilled threshold uh, then the pixel is not despilled. If the difference is lower than the full despill threshold, uh, the pixel gets fully despilled and everything in between gets um, partly despilled. Okay, so we can set these areas like this. Uh, then we have amount. Amount is just the amount of despill that you want to perform. So this is original, this is despilled. And Luma compensates sometimes when you despill images, um, the despilled pixels uh, get darker, so you can increase the luminosity or decrease the luminosity of them.